Since you guys did so well on the last problem, let's do another one. <coughs> Don't think your coughing is going to get you out of doing this problem. <laughs> oh, I need to get some water. So what am I going to do with this problem? What? You can speak up. It's okay. It's just the internet where everybody goes and watches my videos. I mean, all 22 of these people. So, solve for y. So what's the first thing we're going to do? Yes, I know. Solve for y means get y by itself. But what am I going to do? What do I, what's the step that I take? Subtract the 2x. Oh, my gosh. If anybody's watching these videos and you're thinking about becoming a teacher, uh, just think about that a little bit longer. Just... Just take your time. No rush. Don't rush into things. So I'll subtract the two x, and then I'm going to do what? Divide by five. Let's make things colorful. Yay, purple and green go together. Sure they do. Did you just say Barney? <laughs> so this is how I can relate to you guys, is by talking about things like Barney. I love you. You love me. Please don't force that intimacy. You're a freaky purple dinosaur, and you really weird me out. Get away or I will shout. So let's finish solving this guy. Y is less than. Negative 2 fifths x plus 3. So this is just like the last problem. Identify everything you know about this. So what will you say? The slope is a negative 2 fifths. The line is up to 0, 3. Speak loudly and boldly. Proclaim the answers. Let everyone in this whole room know you know what you know. Why is it solid? When it comes to being solid or dashed, the inequality, it's not the direction that it is, but it's whether it has equals or not. This doesn't have equals, so it's going to be a dashed line. He was just testing. Yeah, he's just testing to see if I knew what I'm talking about. It's not like I've been teaching this stuff for, you know, years and years. What did I say, Frosty? Okay, now that's a dashed line, and I'm going to shade which way? Why will I shade below? It says y is less than. That means you want those y coordinates to be less than what you see on the line. And since y is an up and down value, you want it to be less than. So let's put all this stuff here. The y intercept is 0, 3. Make sure that you do put an open circle here because you cannot include points on the line. This doesn't let you be equal. It, you're only less than that. So there's my y-intercept. My slope is down to over 5, and then I'm out of room, up to backwards 5. Let's go ahead and get those midpoints. Instead of going down 2, go down what? Go down 1 instead of going over 5 over two and a half. So there's my slope. Now I've got to get my dashed line. So let me, uh, this is a lot better. I really should have a straight edge or a ruler. Or I can just show how awesome I can be. Just know that you only see me for a few hours a week, so you only get a little glimpse of my awesomeness. Other people, like my wife, get to be around my brilliance all the time. So it is dashed, and I'm going to shade where? Shade below. So below this line is just going to be below, underneath. There we have it. What do you guys think? Any questions about this? Does it seem straightforward? I mean, it's the same things we've been doing with graphing lines, except now we're adding a couple of extra components. Is it solid or dashed? Do you shade above or below? That's it.